So someone came up to me the other day and asked me um, how I came up with the idea for riders' e-bike excursions and tours. And I had to tell them, I mean, um, I only try to focus my energy and time um, and finances into things that make sense to me. It really has to make sense to me. I remember watching an interview one time with Warren Buffett and he said the same thing. Essentially, um, you do things that, that make sense, that, that really solves a problem, right? And I believe for, for, for many visitors and tourists alike that comes to the Caribbean, that's one of the things that they, they want to see. They want to go to the interior of the island. I mean, no one wants to come out from a concrete jungle and be inside of another concrete jung jungle. So that was one of the main things. And, and again, guys, that, that whole concept of doing things that actually make sense or investing into things that make sense, that, that resonated with me. I mean, you could look at many examples of many businesses, right? Some people might think, well, well, it's a lot, it, it, it's a stretch, right? But it's really not because for me, it all encompasses the same thing. Ride Along is a product um, that propels and push all this, this, this other enterprises, but it's essentially the same exact thing. Okay, um, for instance, if you look at, at a company like Google, I remember years ago, we had Google and you had Yahoo. There was close competitors for the same market, right? Uh, but Google did something that, that, that Yahoo didn't. And, and hence the reason why we are saying everything Google today and not Yahoo. Um, Google got into the lifestyle brand. You know, being a lifestyle brand is, is, is basically making yourself essential, an essential component of everyone, everybody's daily activity. Like, like, like for right now, Google became a lifestyle brand. Like, they became a part of everyday life. And I think as a, as a company, as a business, as a business owner, um, even when you start in a business, you must try to think forward or try to forward think about whatever concept that you're trying to come up with. A lot of people start a business and they, the name, the name that they, they attach to that business, uh, they don't put a lot of thought into it because when time to expand, it's hard to expand, you know, especially some people might name have a business and uh, they might name it after a child, their child or their own names. Uh, for me, I, I'll, I'll never do that and I never did that because I believe you must always think ahead, right? Not just for today because your business today might be media, but how do you attach and basically capture the market? Uh, there might be many other entities of media that you could branch into but just your name doesn't allow you to do that. But So that's the first thing I want people to think about when putting together or when conceptualizing a business. And the other thing about lifestyle brand, if you check about with Google and that example of Google, what you would see is that um, Google is, is a part of our everyday life. So even if one day someone said that they're not gonna use Google as a search engine, um, basically you are tied into Google because Google essentially is your phone, Google is your, your, your navigation app, Google, Google is everything that you do, right? You can't get away from it. So that was one of the things that Google did. They became a lifestyle brand. And I think for any business or entrepreneurs or anyone that's looking to capture a global market, you have to think about ways in which you could become a lifestyle brand where you basically encapsulate everything about the brand that you are pushing forward. And that is one of the reasons of, of the, the thinking process. Like when I started, when I conceptualized right along live, I didn't think that one day I would have um, a ride, uh, an all-inclusive, top-notch excursion company. But I left room so within the years to come, I could do many different things with the brand. Ride along, ride, it all comes together really nicely, but it's essentially one thing. This is an idea and advice for some uh, business owners who are thinking about starting their business and they don't really have a full concept and they're thinking about how to put it together. Just think about the longevity of, of your business. Just think of the longevity of your idea and where the possibility might lie in a few years, in 10, 15 years ahead. And I think once you think about that, and once you create your, 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 your brand around that, you'll be safe.